Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a crew YouTuber that's trying to be long no by. And today I'm going to do a video that I don't often do and I'm going to talk about hair. And I am have no education whatsoever on hair. I just know my own hair or I'm trying. But I wanted to tell you what I'm using and some hot tools, styling tools. Like, I'm so bad with what hair things is in English, because that is not something that you learn. But I wanted to talk about some products that I use and also some tools that I use. And I don't know if you're going to like this, but I was like, I know there's a lot more people than I that are so bad with styling their hair and everything that wants to be better at that. I have always wanted to have nice hair. I almost never have had it. Now, I think I do like my haircut. I got bangs this year and I also did my little undercut side cut thingies that I think I do like. And I have started this year to style my hair more because I was like, I'm never going to love it if I'm not trying to do something with it. If you don't know, I am from Sweden and I have what you call like the typical Swedish hair or like the Nordic hair. It's, it's kind of thin, it's flat and I don't have like any volume to my hair. I don't dye my hair, this is my natural color. I am blonde and I've always been, I was so much lighter when I was younger but like I do not do anything to my hair, color it or anything, so I guess my hair is kind of healthy. I am not going to talk about any shampoos or stuff like that, but I use shampoo from Body Shop, the ginger one, because I have a sensitive scalp and it itch and it gets dry. So that works really, really good for me. But I am going to talk about heat protection dry shampoo and two other heat protections. Okay, uh, there is, when I have washed my hair, there is two products that I use. I always use one of these, it depends on which mood I'm in. And these are both from a Swedish brand that is Maria Nila. I think they are like available around the world maybe. Um, but I use these two and I guess you can get something similar from other brands. The one that is my favorite, if you watch my stories on Instagram where I post things like my empties, you know that I have used up a lot of this. This is a salty cream, so this is a cream texturizer, text, texturized cream, and I do love this. What I do love about this is... I don't like salt spray that much because I think it is too like makes my hair too stiff. This does not and it also gives volume and it feels like it's keeping my hair clean for a longer time. I have no idea if that actually worked but I feel like that. I usually wash my hair two times a week and I really love this. I It works amazing on my hair and it gives me volume and just like something it's like a salt spray but not that much like stiffness so I do really love this and this has heat protection in it if I don't use that one I use this pure volume mousse I don't like this as much as I like the other one but I do like it this makes me it doesn't give me as much volume as the other one but sometimes I I think this mousse is so much better and I have never liked mousse before, <laughs> but I do really like this. I don't know if it is because I have shorter hair now that I think I can get some more volume to my hair. It could be that. And then I wanted to talk about two heat protection things. I have one, I always think this is so strange, a dry heat protector and a wet. And this was something that I learned this year, that it can be dry or wet. Um, these are also from two Swedish brands. This is from Continue. And this is a heat protection mist and this is a wet one. What I do really like about this one 
is that it keeps my curls longer. This is the best for keeping my curls. And uh, I just think that this is really good. It though tastes Moringa, but I can live with it. it. It doesn't like, I have used this day and it doesn't smell anymore. So I have this one and then I also have this from Indie Beauty that is a Swedish influencer brand where it started. And this is a dry heat protector. And first when I heard this, I was like, what do you mean dry? But the hair doesn't get wet. This is a spray and this is more like a water. And this, I wait for it to sink into the hair, but this the hair doesn't get wet and I do really like it. This gives a little bit more volume and I can really recommend to have like a wet one and a dry one. Maybe that is like the normal thing. I don't know because I didn't know this before. I have no idea, but I do like these and I do like that I have two of these, wet and dry. And before going to my hot tools, I thought that I could talk about two dry shampoos. And I have this one. This is also from a Swedish brand, yeah, I'm representing Sweden. This is from Budgie and this is a foam. And before I saw this, I have used this, is this my second or third one? And I really like this. This is a foam. It's a dry shampoo in a foam, foam form. That was hard. Foam form. So you just have it out in your hands and massage it to your scalp. And what I like about this, it doesn't give like any residue at all. Like, you know, there's a white thing you can see with dry shampoo. It doesn't happen at all. And it's also easier. And I think that the hair isn't getting stiff or anything. So this one I do really like, and if you haven't tried foam dry shampoo, try it. The other one is just a normal dry shampoo that I have for my bangs. Like my bangs, it's getting so, so disgusting. It, it just takes like one or two days. I guess it's because it's getting, it's close to the forehead, I guess. And I have used so much dry shampoo now when I cut bangs. And I do like it for my bangs, but not for the rest of my hair because I think it gets too, too yucky. So these have been favorites for me this year. Did I tell, did I say that in the beginning? Like I, this was not planned at all this video, but I did do this waves to a hair and I was like maybe I should talk about this so here we are if we're going to hot tools I have always used an air dryer blow dryer you see how I'm, I'm not prepared but this year I did buy uh, I guess it's called a heat brush this is from Revlon I can write the name um but this is a heat brush and I do love this i have like never understand that thing with these heat is it called a heat brush i have never understand the thing like people have raved about it i was like what is the point but the volume that this gives and also it doesn't make my hair frizzy this helps a lot with that and i was like maybe i am just been lucky with my hair but then i did blue blow dry my hair and it was so so frizzy but with this one it's not and it takes longer time because i section my hair in two so it takes a little bit longer time but i just love this and if you haven't tried this and maybe you have been like me like what the fuck is the point try it it is amazing i just think it's so so good and I do really love it and this is the first I try and uh, I bought this in the beginning of the year I think and I do really 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 love it. Then during Black Friday I bought something that I never thought that I was going to buy. I bought a um, hair straightener. This is from Remington and I do really like Remington when it comes to hair stuff. They aren't that expensive, but I think they are really good. 
So I did actually buy it, buy it, bought a straightener and this is the Mineral Glow. I have used it a couple of times. I bought it like a week ago and I do really like it. The thing that I, I do have really straight hair, but like the ends of my hair, they bend in like this. Like whatever I do, I think it's because I do have my hair behind my ear. So it always gets like this. And I do not like it. So I straighten like maybe from here and down. And it works so good. So I can really, even though maybe you don't want to straighten your whole hair. A straightener isn't that bad. The last two things I want to talk about is about curling your hair. And I have always loved curling hair. I have tried different things and it hasn't worked for me. And... I just think it has been so, so hard to curl my hair. But then I found this one from Remington. This is their Smooth Coconut, Coconut Smooth Curling Wand. Um, it's like a cone form and this is so easy to curl your hair. And the curls hold up so good. I've always had a problem, like I can curl my hair and the day after it looks like shit. It's like straight again, but with this one it holds up for like, they are good for like two days after I curled it and it is just so easy to work with. I don't know why, but it just is. So if you do want to curl your hair, but you think it's hard and you don't really know how to do it, I can really recommend this one. It's so easy it gets so nice curls and i've had this i've been using this for so many videos i can leave some down in the description where i've used it i just think it's so good and if you want a curling wand i would really recommend this if you aren't a pro and the last thing i want to talk about is the thing that i have used today and i have used this one. This is a deep waver from Remington as well. And I have had a waving iron a waver <laughs> before that I didn't like because I thought it was looking like too it really looked like I have used a waver. Uh, today I think it might can look like I have curled my hair. And this is one of these that you can change the depth of it. Can I show you? Like you can, can you see this? You can like do a different curls, so you can do really like smaller curls. I have almost at the largest one, and this is just so easy. And if you have troubles to curl your hair, try something like this. And I would recommend you because I've tried both, both one that is like only one length. And also this that has four different and I can really recommend you to buy something like this because then you can I think this looks I think this looks good actually I do like this and I think it gives like some volume and it looks a little bit messy and I do like that my hair looks a little bit like messy and playful than my own straight hair I do like that. And yeah, I guess that that was all I was going to talk about in this video. It feels so strange to do a hair video. So these are the things that I've been using this year and that I have been re really liking. And also that has like, finally I think it's fun to do something with my hair. Because it's not that hard with the things that I've bought. And I've always struggled, like I have always dreamt about having curly hair. And uh, I haven't got any curling wand that I have been able to do that with. But with these things, I do really like it. And no, I am not a professional. I'm just a happy amateur that is really liking to do things with my hair. So I do hope that you like this video. And yeah, I don't know if I ever going to talk about horror stuff, hair stuff more. But yeah. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!